Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm an analytics engineer at Seek. Welcome to part two of the video series, How to Scale Analyses Over Many Assets with Seek. In part one, we used Workbench Analysis to build the asset group and tree map. And in part two, we'll view log or alarm conditions in Seek and build the log table and chart in Workbench Analysis. In part three, we'll actually create this organizer topic dashboard. So here I am back in the workbench I used in part one. I'm going to delve into the asset group we created there, and I'm going to add my signals with wind speed and grid power production, and also this turbine log condition, which is a new condition I have put into the asset group. This is the condition that contains the log messages of what is happening on the turbines. And in this case, it has many capsules that are overlapping, so they stack on top of each other. And using the grid button in the bottom right, I'm going to add the capsule property log message and the capsule end date to the capsules pane. I'm also going to add labels. So I'm going to add the log message to the capsules and the other labels as well. So now that I've added the capsule property, you can see as I hover over each of these capsules, the message shows up. If we were to zoom in a little bit further, you'd be able to see these on the capsules as well. Using the capsules pane in the bottom right, I can also filter and sort on capsule properties. So you can see here, I have filtered the log message, and now I'm only seeing the capsules that have the hot transformer oil message. You can see we have this period of no power after these capsules, so that might be something I want to look into further. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out so I can see the original time range. And I can also sort by the start and end date if I wanted to in the capsule pane. So here I'm looking at the most recent start times. And then I'll remove the filter so I can see all the capsules again. Note that you can create these conditions from signals that have this log or alarm information. And you can also bring in conditions like this straight from the data source. Now let's get into creating tables and charts. I'm going to navigate to the tables and charts view. And there are two options for tables here. There's a simple table and a condition table. Simple table aggregates statistics over the display range selected, and the condition table aggregates information over each capsule or time period of interest within the display range. For this table, I want to see the details on each capsule in the turbine log condition during the display range, so I'll choose the condition table. And I'll navigate to the column button to add columns to the table. I'm going to focus on capsule properties here, so I'll add start and end. Then I'll also add the log message from the drop down. And you can see those columns pop up in my table. I am also going to remove this header over on the left so I don't have duplicate information. And don't worry, that column won't show up in the organizer topic. I can also filter in this table just like I did in the capsules pane. So I'll pick that same log message and filter for that. And I can also bring in all the results from the other assets in the asset group. So here I'll click the assets button and I'll select the turbine analysis asset group I made. And now the table is looking over all those assets. So I still have that filter on the log message applied, and it looks like I have turbine one and turbine seven that have had that same message on some of the capsules. I could do some more manipulation here. I could sort by start date. So these are the most recent capsules showing up at the top. And now I'll just remove this filter so I can see all the log messages over the different turbines. This table across assets is a great way to see the active conditions over many assets all in one place. I'm actually going to remove the asset selection here. For my organizer topic dashboard, I'm just going to use asset swapping and organizer topic to look at the different logs. So I don't need to look over all those assets in this table. Once I have it how I want it to look, I'll go ahead and add a journal link here so I can get back to this format and table whenever I want to, even if I navigate away or remove items. To add the journal link, I'll just type out some text that's descriptive and add the link using that green CQ in the top left of the journal. So I've created that first table, the log detail table, and I want to create a simple table. I'm going to have them as separate visuals in the organizer topic dashboard. 
When I'm using different visuals in an organizer topic, it is best practice to have separate worksheets for each of those pieces of content because it makes it easier to navigate back and forth between the organizer topic and workbench. And then it also allows you to easily update items in workbench and have that populate in the organizer topic. So to do this easily, I'm going to duplicate this worksheet and create this simple table in another worksheet. I'll name the new worksheet log chart and the other one log detail table so I can easily tell them apart. And over in the toolbar, I will toggle to simple table. Now you can see into simple table, I have that aggregation over the time range. And I just want to look at the log conditions, so I'm going to select that in the details pane. And you can see the average shows up blank. This is because average is not a valid aggregation for a condition. So I'm going to open up the column button and deselect average and instead select count. And you'll be able to see in the simple table that now I'm looking at the count of the log capsules in the turbine log condition. Right now, this is the only turbine in the details pane, turbine one, but I can go to the assets button again and I can select that same asset group, turbine analysis. And now you can see it's looking at the count of the log capsules over each of the turbines. Next, I'll make a chart by toggling chart view on and selecting the series name I want to use, which in this case is assets, and then the category, which is count. Then I will toggle over to a column chart. And that creates a really nice visual of the count of how many log capsules there are over each of the assets. I like how this looks, so I'll go ahead and save another journal link here for the log chart. And I can always toggle back to the table by selecting chart view again and toggling back to the table view. So I'll create a journal link for this one as well and just call it log count table. Okay, that wraps up part two of the video series, how to scale analyses over many assets with Seek. The next step will be to put all of these visuals together into an organizer topic dashboard, and we'll be doing that in part three. See you there.